Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. We begin with the heartbreaking story of a one-year-old girl who died after being forgotten in her father's car at the Black River Police Station. The father, who is a police sergeant, had forgot to drop off the child at her daycare center yesterday and instead drove straight to work at the Black River Police Station, locked the car and went to work for hours before the tragic discovery. Five people have received serious injuries in a motor vehicle crash along Highway 2000. It happened when a Toyota Costa passenger bus heading towards Kingston crashed into a Nissan Tida which was reversing on the eastbound lane for the driver to retrieve a dislodged bumper. In St. Andrew, firefighters from three corporate area stations worked for hours this morning to extinguish a major fire at the Bronstorp Square building on Washington Boulevard. The blaze reportedly began at a radiator shop. Dr. Adrian Stokes has resigned as Senior Vice President and Head of Insurance and Wealth for Scotia Group. Scotia Bank says he will be leaving to pursue other opportunities and Gary Vaughan White, the Senior Vice President for the Treasury, will act as Head of Scotia Investments Jamaica Limited. In your currency trading today, it was costing $156.43 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $214.27, and the Canadian dollar for $122.95. In sports, Chairman of the Jamaica Football Federation's Technical Committee, Rudolph Speed, said former Liverpool legend John Barnes should apply for the job if he is interested in coaching the reggae boys. The former England international, who was unbeaten in his stint as Jamaica's coach from 2008 to 2009, said he has unfinished business with the reggae boys and has not ruled out managing the team in the future. In your weather forecast, Thursday will see isolated showers and thunderstorms across western and hilly areas. Otherwise, it will be partly cloudy. It will be windy along the south coast. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.